it would be best for you to, you know, have a game plan, lay out something like a blueprint of the alternative courses that you might take. Okay. For some of you, this might be a schooling situation because that courses, it, it, it resonated. So I feel like chart out a new course for yourself to figure out what's a more moderate or less um, uh, extreme road or route that you can take in uh, once you've decided this is not right for you what is a more or, or a more moderate or a better fit for you so so going from there okay so don't let your energy fluctuate to the other end of the spectrum because i feel like you might make some decisions that you're going to regret Okay, so just uh, just a heads up, because I do feel this um, tug of war. And you know, when you you look at people in a tug of war, it's like you have a bunch of people on one team and a bunch on another. And if they're constantly tugging, then no one's really falling down. However, if one side side decides to just let go of the rope, the other side will be able to pull and then all of their members will like stagger to the floor, right? So I feel like maintaining that, that, that push and pull and also that equilibrium is going to be really important so that you don't, um, so that you're still, you know, finding your center and so that things don't drastically go awry, okay? So, I hope that the reading still resonates and I hope that you're still watching this and I hope that it is still going to be helpful for you guys. Now, the last four cards, you have some really good, amazing cards, okay? So I feel like there was some major things, hurdles that you have jumped through as we round out the month of November. And so we're going into December where a lot of this is still in your head. And it's still kind of like, you know, plastered, I feel like, on the, the right side of your head. You're going about your day, but you're still thinking about it because it's plastered on this side of your head. And you're still like, it's weighing you down a little bit. It nags at you. And you're just like, okay, I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. But I do feel like, you know, finances needs to be uh, ironed out. Um, figuring out the next path. I feel for many of you, I, I do see a lot of people who might have finished like a specific course of study and now they're contemplating, um, do I go for more education or do I want to get out into the world and make money? For some of you, you're impatient. You, you want to go out there and make your mark on the world, make money and not be like, um, you know, struggling financially while you're in school. It's no, it's not fun. And so you're really trying to, you know, grapple between like more schooling so I can like increase my earnings in the future or start working now so I can get the work experience while the going's hot. I feel like you're grappling with these major life, like life change and, 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 um, turning points in your life. For others as well, I feel like, you know, divvying up your assets. So it could be like, um, it, it could be like filing for something filing for something and you, uh, filing papers, filing for something, and you're trying to swear away or swirl away some assets, hide some assets so that it doesn't show on your statement. So there's something like that happening. And um, I just feel like moderation is the key, okay? Um, anyway, so on this side, there was another image that I saw and it looks really good. I I actually feel like I'm going to clear these off because I feel like that energy is done and over with, but um, let me just leave the cards out here. So what I have here is the 10 of cups. This is a beautiful card. I have the Knight of pentacles. I have the hierophant. We saw that earlier and then the two of cups. Okay. So these are lovely, lovely cards. So what I saw pertaining to these four cards is, um, I see a woman's hands. Um, there's like a, a bowl, a plastic bowl, and there's, um, some dough, like some, some flour and water and a little bit of salt. So somebody is like kneading some dough, right? 
And uh, for those of you who are not familiar with um, baking and kneading and, and you know, flour and, and things like that. Um, so to, to knead dough, you need, you know, flour and water, right? And you have to be really careful about the amount that you put in. It has to be measured. It has to be measured, okay? Measured perfectly right. So if you put way too much water in, it gets sticky and it just gets into every crevice of your fingers. And it's really frustrating having to knead it because it, it sticks everywhere. And then if you get it too dry and every time you thump it down into the bowl, the, the dry flour fluffs up and gets all over your face, gets all over the, the counter, it gets all over the surface that you're working on. So a delicate balance, okay? Anyways, I, I see these hands kneading dough. And so what I feel is there is a specific area in your life where Sagittarius, you just want to jump right in, roll up your sleeves, get your hands dirty and just, you know, indulge. Okay. Like I, I feel this really strong tactile. Um, it's, it's very tactile. It's very like, it reminds me of like one of the, the, the Cancerian reading for last month where I, I felt like they were just frustrated. They wanted to indulge. They wanted to like, you know, devil may care. They, 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 they just wanted to have fun. They don't, didn't want to answer to anybody. They didn't want to restrain themselves. They didn't want to do something. They, they didn't want to be, um, to, to have to, um, hold themselves back. So that's what I felt it's, it's like. And for many of you, I feel like this is your energy or another person that you're dealing with. Um, so here's what I'm sensing. Okay. There's like a, a relationship situation here. There is a relationship here. And there are some scenarios that are um, coming up strongly. I feel for many of you, we have the Hierophant and the Two of Cups. I feel like you might be dealing with someone who's in a relationship, who's like already married, okay? And then I also feel like the connection between the two of you is very strong, okay? It's like the, the fish, okay? And I almost feel like the two of you, if you work together, you're a very good like partner, like, like work, the work relationship is amazing. The two of you, if you were, you know, um, if, if you happen to be both single and dating, this is like a power couple. I always think of the fish as like, you know, it, it generates prosperity. And that's why we have like fish in the koi ponds, right? So it generates prosperity. So it's like the, together, the two of you would generate a lot more money as a couple. So this is like a power couple dynamics that I'm seeing here. But I feel like you might be married or they might be married. But the connection between the two of you is very undeniable and it's really strong. And the two of you have this really strong, playful energy with each other. And I do feel like, you know, there's a lot of tension. There's a lot of like this um, romanticism that's kind of like suppressed. And that's why I, I just kept feeling like, you know, you, you really like this person and they likewise, they feel the same way about you. And I felt like you just want to just, just ignore that responsible part of yourself, you know, Hey, I'm in a relationship or Hey, they're in a relationship. We shouldn't go there. You, you kind of want to ignore that part of yourself and just like plunge right in, get your hands dirty. Okay. That like, that's what it feels like to me. And then for others of you, I feel like for, for whatever reason, there's something about this relationship that's taboo, okay? I do feel for many of you cultural differences, even though I don't know why that would be taboo, or even uh, like a, a workplace romance where it's not allowed by HR, for example, or you don't want to taint this relationship because you work together. Um, there might be religious factors. There might be family, um, you know, like, for example, your, your family might want you to, you know, um, 
date somebody from a specific religion, date somebody from a specific race. There, there's something here about like, I almost feel like star-crossed lovers meeting somebody at the wrong time. Okay. And um, I also feel like there's a lot of restraint here. It could just be a professional type of a relationship and you want more out of it and the other person um, also wants more out of it. The Hierophant um, screams out to me like tradition, you know, like it, it's the pillar of morality. So I feel like there's something here that might be posing as a huge temptation for many of you. And um, you're, you want to indulge in it, but I, I do sense like, you know, you're, your judgment or the the other person's uh, judgment or the other person's sense of morality or your own might be at risk or might be, you know, uh, on the line as a result of indulging in this type of a relationship. So that's what I'm seeing here with the bottom two cards. For those of you who are dating new people, okay, like you're, you're in the dating phase, getting to know, uh, trying to figure out are we exclusive and things like that you have some really amazing things coming through um, the partner that you're dealing with I have here the knight of pentacles this is somebody who's still trying to figure out things in their life okay it's a very slow moving character okay he's not getting anywhere he's better off getting off that animal and just walking you know in his heavy armor so I feel like you're dealing with someone I'm getting the word clumsy Okay. Clumsy. So I'm hearing that um, you might be dealing with someone who's a little bit inexperienced. Inexperienced when it comes to relationships, when it comes to intimacy, when it comes to being uh, a good relationship partner. Um, it doesn't mean that they have any bad intentions. It just means that they need a little bit more guidance and they need a little bit more time. So you have to be very patient with this person. Okay, so I feel like there's someone who's clumsy. So for example, if um, if they're, you're like going on a date, they might not, you know, open the doors. They might not uh, open the car door. They might not uh, be aware that you have certain food allergies. They might not be aware that you don't like uh, a specific type of food so I feel like it's somebody who's like still new at this and they're taking their time and um, you you can you have to be very patient with this person and I feel like you know beneath that armor is a heart of gold like it's someone who's really good okay who's very thoughtful they they're just they need to you know come into their own a little bit so just please be patient and I also feel like they're very serious like they're looking for their happily ever after like looking for a solid relationship i have here the ten of cups and this is a family card and and what i do see with this card once again you know interracial couples um people who have differences when it comes to their political beliefs their um ideological beliefs their their uh profession their career goals and even their religious beliefs okay so I do see this is kind of like that star cross crossroads but life wouldn't be interesting unless you're dating somebody who's different from you right so that you can learn so I do feel like there is an element here about you know two people who are very very different but and yet when they come together there's great complementarity because they're learning a lot from one another so I do feel there is a potential here for a relationship that will, you know, stand the test of time. It's also interesting enough to keep you learning and growing and to keep you interested. And then I also feel, you know, it's stable enough where it can lead to the whole marriage. It can lead to long-term commitment. And it can lead to a lot of compatibility once you've worked out all the kinks, okay? Um, so... I feel like you just want to plunge right in, get your hands dirty. But when it comes to relationships, you know, like cooking, you want to make sure the pan is in place. You want to make sure you preheat that oven. You want to make sure that everything is lined up systematically so that the kitchen doesn't end up in 
utter chaos would flower everywhere you know so I, I feel like in in this situation moderation is key and holding yourself back and it, it is really key so reining yourself back so that you don't scare the other person off or even sabotage the situation by rushing too fast and getting yourself into a situation before you you are clear with the other person you know what their expectations are what your expectations are um for those of you who have been waiting on communication for another per from another person excuse me i have here the knight of pentacles it's going to come in this month possibly when we transition into the sign of um, capricorn so that's like the the cutoff is around december 21st I feel like the, the, the messages are come slowly coming in. And I feel like one of the reasons why there is significant delay is when I look at birds, I think of them as messengers. Okay. They chirp, they make noise, they announce their arrival. And with this owl, the owl stands for wisdom. And I feel like this person doesn't just want to communicate. They want a, a thoughtful, sentence you know they, they want to construct a thoughtful narrative in their mind first before they communicate so they're not going to you know shoot off like whatever comes to mind like hey in a text they're going to, going to take their time to construct their sentences to ask you meaningful questions and to you know follow up with the conversation with meaningful responses so i feel like there's somebody here that has been mulling over thinking heavily about like how to communicate, how to reach out, what to say. And I do feel like there's just, um, I feel like you're dealing with someone who's, uh, whose feelings run really deep and they're almost, um, it, it almost frightens them too. So in that way, they're, they're not like immediately, you know, they're, they're not like emotionally uh, expressive because their feelings get the best of them. They could be very deeply emotional, but they put on a, a, a brave face, okay? I'm looking at the armor, the scale on this, um, the carapace on this tortoise or turtle. And I just think like it's somebody who's, you know, who, who's got thick skin. They, they, they've developed thick skin as a defense mechanism. But deep down, they're very, very soft to the core. And as a result of it, they're not very forthcoming and, and, uh, expressive with their emotions because they don't want to be in that position where they feel vulnerable. But at the same time, they also don't want to rush into things. It's like, I don't bite off more than I can chew. And when I start something, I intend to finish it. So I feel like that's their MO. That's the way they operate. And they, they don't want to rush into a situation unless they are 100% sure they can follow through or unless they are, unless you can convince them that you're 100% in it. So you have somebody who I, I feel is taking a liking to you, Sagittarius. And, um, this is somebody who's going to be very different from you. So for example, if you're dark skin, they might be light skin. If you have dark hair, they may have light hair. If you have dark eyes, they might have light eyes. I also see an element of religion as well. Okay. Religious, like, um, someone who's very religious, someone who's not someone who's, um, very family oriented. And then the other person's not. So the, the, the lifestyle that you lead. Okay. So it's like one is a land animal. One is a, um, lives in the water. So I, I feel like there are, there's just enough to keep things very interesting. And there's also an element of like cultural differences. And you guys love people who are different from you anyway. So I feel like you're so attracted to this person. And I, I also feel like you're very exotic in their eyes and they're coming. It, it's almost like you're so different. They don't really know how to approach you as well.